Back in 1984, there was a movie that came out called Silent Night, Deadly Night. One of those classic 80 horror movies that's kind of cheesy but kind of fun just because of how stupid and cheesy it is. This movie takes place in a toy store. And if you look in the background in some scenes, you'll see a lot of cool old vintage toys, including vintage Kenner Star Wars toys. That makes it a classic movie right there, right? Anyway, what I did is I went through all the toy scenes and cut out the best scenes where you can see these toys. Now, I took out the audio because it was so choppy and everything. The audio just didn't go with it. Uh, so I'm going to show you these clips and kind of talk about what's in the background and everything. So I thought you would get a kick out of seeing this. So again, here's some scenes from Silent Night, Deadly Night. Some vintage toys in the background. And please, I'm sure I didn't spot everything or couldn't figure out what everything was. So if you know anything else that's in these clips or maybe just in the movie that I didn't pick out, let me know in the comments below. Here's the really first scene. I couldn't really find anything in here that I really recognize, but I wanted to leave this here in case you uh, see something I didn't. Now, I see, do see a very 80s bicycle with a green frame and a yellow banana seat. <sighs> Man, we had some ugly bicycles back then, but I don't really see nothing. The only thing I do see down in the corner, and I can't tell what it is, is it looks like a G.I. Joe logo, so maybe someone out there can tell me what exactly that is and there's a blue container that looks like a carrying case i'm not sure what that is either and of course this one here is easy to spot it's a gi joe halloween costume and we got a few more halloween costumes here of course there's a batman and right over here is a spider man now i'm not really sure what this ugly green thing is but i'm judging by the costume it's some kind of superhero uh, I see a Mickey Mouse, nothing else I really can uh, pinpoint. Now this is some kind of dork from the 80s. He's checking on the new employee that came from the orphanage to make sure he's doing the job right. As you can see, he kind of agrees that he is doing it right. Okay, now we have the ugly banana seat bicycle again. But let's look at the shelf. Uh, first we got a Matchbox Super Garage. I believe I had this toy as a kid, and I forgot all about it. If not, I had something very similar. It was very fun. Uh, down on the second shelf, we have a stomper. I don't know what it is, but it's just a 4x4. Four four. That's what it looks like, some kind of truck thing. It looks very cool, whatever it is. See uh, some other kind of truck there in the middle? High stakes, is that what it's called? I can't hardly make that out. And we see this striping young fellow putting together a potato head. Now, I don't know why this Mr. Potato Head is not in a box. Maybe you can tell me why. And then... Behind him, we have a female potato head. And I see some ugly little girl with a big old afro back in the back. Okay, as you can guess, this is probably one of my favorites right here. Uh, let's start at the very top corner. We have a do-back. Now, this isn't the 1978 box. This is the 1983 84 right around then re-release collector series box you can tell by the little logo circle in the top of the corner up there uh, They re-released these in 83 84 in a collector series and down below you see we have the job of the hut box There's actually also a display one on top of one of the boxes going over there We've got another kind of stunt cycle. I'm not really sure what that is But we've got a couple more of the stunt cycles and we got a Hot Wheels wipeout uh, down at the bottom corner And if these people move out of the way we would have a better view of some other cool stuff. I'm sure And right now we have the dork again carrying a ladder I don't really see anything in this picture that I can really identify. I see a couple of Smurf toys right over here. Uh, back here on the wall is something interesting. This is the axe that the blonde-headed guy will kill the dork with later on in the movie. I'm guessing maybe he didn't pay him for overtime or something. Okay, this looks like the board game area. Now, I don't really see anything interesting here. Maybe the Popeye game. If you notice, it's from the movie, not from the cartoon. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't really see anything. This over here looks like it's a Silver Hawks logo, but I really don't think it's a Silver Hawks logo. So uh, if maybe somebody can tell me what exactly this is. Here's a closer up shot of the Job of the Hut action figure play set. Uh, the only other thing I will add, if you look over here next to the play set, you'll see a carded Luke Skywalker action figure. Uh, it looks like two of them. 
That's the standard Luke Skywalker on the Return of the Jedi card. Okay, here we go. We have a murdering psycho dweeb uh, just staring at this girl. We have the two creepiest looking clown bunny rabbits I've ever seen. And if you look over his shoulder, which looks like, which I know it's not, is some kind of fuzzy, weird looking hammerhead. Now, if you look at the very top shelf, we got two very cool things I want to point out right here. First up is this Kenner Vintage Star Wars AT AT in the shipping box right there. See it? And if you look right here on the end, we have a Castle Grayskull from the He Man Masters of the Universe collection. Okay, and here's one that really blew my mind because I forgot all about it, and that's Mr. Mouth. See him right there, Mr. Mouth? And over here, we got some very creepy puppets, and I remember these really good from my memory. In those Sears Wish books, uh, we have a Groucho Marx and a Lester. Okay, I don't think these two ever leave this area of the store, so we've seen most of this. But I didn't see this last time, and it's the Cruel board game. Cruel. Say that right? Cruel. Anyway, remember that movie? I don't really have anything to add here. But I just thought y'all would like to see the scene and some of the products some more. Because look, you can see Jabba over there. And I see Salacious B. Crumb. I don't see really anything new here to point out. Except maybe the best name of a game ever. Stuff Your Face. And this Dave Foley looking perv. Now if you look at this top shelf next to the Castle Grayskull. Uh, at first I thought this was some kind of He-Man toy, but I think it's some kind of store display of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. You can see it a lot better in this scene here. And in the last scene, I thought this was a Masters of the Universe comic book, but the more I look at the package design, I think it might be a Masters of the Universe kite. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about this. That was pretty cool, right? I thought some of you would to get a kick out of that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and until the next video, head over to thatjunkman.com or starwarsjunk.net. Either one, it doesn't matter which one you go, take you to the same place. And support us on Patreon. And let, again, let us know in the comments if you found anything in this movie that we didn't see here or something we didn't know about. Thank you for watching. We'll be back soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>